Hey guys, we're gonna do some more car care videos because uh, I got some products that a new company sent out to us. Car Guys Professional Detailing. Uh, if you guys probably saw this stuff on Amazon, it's got like ridiculous uh, reviews. And they were kind enough to send me a bottle of their Real Cleaner, their Premium Hybrid Spray Wax, and their Premium Liquid Wax. Um, it's funny because I use this stuff already and I, I didn't shoot a video on it. And this product, the wheel cleaner and the liquid wax are very, very familiar looking and smelling. I honestly think I know the manufacturer of both of these. Uh, they're commercial manufacturers of products. And uh, we're going to start today. We're just going to do uh, the wheel cleaner on my GT350. And I'm not going to use it out of the spray bottle. This spray bottle is horrible. So if Car Guys Detailing is listening, I would suggest either include a better um, sprayer with your bottle or just don't include one at all. I'm going to put the fluid from the wheel cleaner container here in my solo pump activated sprayer. It just seems to work a little bit better. We're going to spray it on the wheels. We're going to wait a couple of minutes. We're going to hose it off. We're not going to use the power washer. I just want to see how effective this stuff is. This is not one of those wheel cleaners where you spray it on, it changes colors, you hose it off and 90% of the wheel is clean. This is a, this is a, a typical regular wheel cleaner. Uh, but to be honest with you, I don't know how much of a dedicated wheel cleaner this is. It smells really similar to a general purpose uh, cleaner and degreaser that may be uh, thinned out a little bit, you know, to make it safe for wheels. But I don't know, like I said, we'll give it a shot now. I'm gonna move the camera over to the car and uh, we're gonna do some testing on the Car Guys Professional Detailing Wheel Cleaner. All right, guys, we're gonna just uh, hose the wheel down quick. And uh, we're going to use the Solo Sprayer. I mean, these things are great. If you haven't seen my other video where I tested the Diablo wheel cleaner, this is a must-have. These things are awesome. Check this out. I mean, you just hold down the trigger. And one thing I'm noticing so far on this product is that it foams up a lot more than the Chemical Guys Diablo and the Sticky Siltrus, which I think is pretty cool. It actually smells a lot like the Chemical Guys Diablo wheel cleaner. Uh, it, it really does. It even looks like it, uh, the red in color. But uh, to be honest with you, the Car Guys detailing, this wheel cleaner smells a lot like the Chemical Guys Diablo and a lot like uh, Melco Red Thunder kind of combined. That's why I think I know who the manufacturer of this product is, but we're going to see how it does. We're going to, you know, let it sit for a couple of minutes. Uh, we're going to come back, we're going to hose it off, we're going to see what that did, we're going to dry the wheel, and then we're going to do it again, we're going to spray the wheel down with the cleaner, and then I'm going to use the wheel woolies, we're going to agitate it. The whole purpose of doing it twice is because, like most of you guys, everybody wants to spray a wheel cleaner on, a, on their wheels, they want to hose it off, and they don't want to scrub, bend down, and, and agitate it. Yeah, that, that's just the way it is, and that's why these harsher cleaners are so popular on the market with the Sonax Full Effect, uh, the Adams wheel cleaner, I mean, they work outstanding, but then you have the trade-off of the expense, the fumes, and like in my case, it damaged my driveway after it was sealed. So uh, we're going to give this a shot. We're going to see how well this stuff breaks up any of the brake dust that's on this wheel already uh, without agitating, and then we're going to do it again, and we're gonna, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this product to see if it's worth uh, for you guys to try out because the feedback on Amazon is outstanding. Uh, and like I said, it's relatively affordable. It's like 35 bucks a gallon, and that's really not bad for what it is. Um, I would like to know a little bit more about the Car Guys detailing brand. There's really not much on their website about their story, about their history. Um, I think they're tapping into a very, very competitive marketplace with auto detailing for the consumer. Uh, like I said, I think the one that does it the best in that boutique consumer market is Adams. I mean, they've been around for a really, really long time. They do an outstanding job with marketing, with videos. I met those guys a bunch of times at some shows over the years. Really bunch of great guys. But like their story, you know, it's all over the web. It's all over the forums. Everybody knows about them. So this is a new company and we're going to kind of see where it goes. I mean, it just might be a new startup and they're just testing the waters to see where they're going to go with this. But, uh, you know, I'm going to put it through the test. I'm going to tell you guys what I think of it and uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we waited about almost five minutes on this front wheel. We're going to hose it off now and see what it did.
I mean, so far from looking at the wheel, and I'll move the camera closer for you guys to see. I mean, it looks pretty good. I did see some dirt come off when I hosed it off just now. But I do see something here on my driveway. I do see some brown residue, and I just hope that this is not going to be another one of those uh, wheel cleaners where it's going to stay in my driveway. Because a lot of um, strong cleaner and degreaser products for the commercial market do eat into the asphalt. It, like, reactivates the tar and you know, um, with the asphalt, and you do get a lot of brown staining. So I'm going to hose this off a little bit more just because I don't, I don't want this to stain. I'm going to grab the blower. We're going to blow dry it. I mean, overall, I think it did a, a pretty good job on its own without agitating. I'm actually pretty impressed that, you know, the spokes, everything feels clean. So, you know, I think maybe you could, if your wheels aren't trashed and heavily soiled, you could probably spray this product on, do what I just did here. And then when you're doing your drying process, go with a microfiber cloth that's damp and kind of touch up the spokes. But uh, it seems like it worked. It seems like it worked well. So uh, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna spray it down. And then we're going to agitate it this time. We're going to do it a little differently. And we're going to see the results. And then I'm going to fully dry it. And I'm going to give you my opinion on this stuff. All right, guys, we're back. Um, just want to let you know, on the second application of the wheel cleaner in the bottle that they sent me, it is completely gone. There's no more left. So that's something to consider, too, as far as the yield you're going to get cleaning your wheels. Because if that's the case then a gallon of wheel cleaner is going to probably last me three weeks. And that's probably why, you know, they're selling it at a much cheaper price. So we're going to go in here this time around and we're going to agitate. Okay. And like I said, I have in my rim bucket, I put a little bit of wheel cleaner uh, and I filled it up with water and I'm just using the little one. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to go... You know, like I usually do, and I show in a lot of my videos. See, it's really hard to get in between the spokes on this rim. I mean, you can see it's breaking the brake dust off. So we're going to hose it off now, and uh, we're going to see the final result. I mean, overall, guys, I think the wheel cleaner, uh, whatever solution they're using, I think it works really well. Uh, like I said, I just highly suggest the Solo hand sprayer. Yeah, maybe it uses more product, but it just gives a much better coverage. And it actually takes a lot of these um, non-changing color wheel cleaners, and it actually foams them up a little bit more. And that's really what you need uh, when you're going to do it like this. And I, I think the product works well. I mean, I'm most likely going to order a gallon of it, and I'm, I'm going to try it out some more. I, I think it works well. I don't know how it's going to hold up uh, on the anodized calipers. That's going to be just a test. I did ask them about that before they sent it out to us, and uh, they said it was perfectly safe. But so far, I mean, I, I think it did a good job. 
Uh, it didn't leave any residue behind. Doesn't seem to have stained the driveway yet. And uh, it's relatively affordable. So Car Guys Detailing, uh, looked them up on Amazon. Uh, you could buy it through the Amazon store. I'll put a link in the video uh, below to this product. And then I'm gonna do a test on the other two products that they sent me. One of them I think is decent. The other one I think is horrible. Uh, stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna uh, miss those videos as well. Thanks for watching.